Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animation. So I'm going to show you the crawler tracks. Now the crawler tracks are immensely advanced and you can do so many things with this one. Um, here we have a tank, for example. I mean, I will not do that kind of rigging right now because I would never have time to Let's show the, the local stuff here and just hit record. That. So you see, everything is dynamic here. The whole track is just as dynamic as it can get. You see all the flapping here and everything just loves it all right so i just created a crawler here and uh, let's just um, make it know that this is the ground it's supposed to drive on so i make it a child of this ground immediately here right there and let's create a crawler track on this one and remember this this is very very important here that the crawler track must be underneath the crawler because it's dependent on the crawler extended here so otherwise you can get the strange delay effect that we do not want to have come on that's, I guess that's one. Yeah, okay. So the thing here is that they, I have grabbed the frame, it's called the frame here, and the first thing I need to do is to scale down the this one with the frame so that it's approximately the right size. And that's the first thing I need to do. Do not scale this one immediately. Now, I have an approximately right scale here, and that's where I start from. Otherwise, the presets of the crawler tracks will not be valid, and the presets are there due to the fact that we have physics engine running. And this physics engine needs, I mean, it, it's a huge difference depending on what kind of uh, size you have in the scene. So, first of all, this wheel, this wheel now is going to rotate with this wheel here. That means I want this... Uh, this this drive wheel here drive wheel to be a child of this wheel because I want it to drive this crawler track around now that's the first step the second thing here that is very important for you to understand because otherwise you will be so confused is that the cr track is always created from this point here and forward and if I it's always created here and forward so if I want it to be created that way this is the way it would be. Now I want it to be created like this. And the next wheel here will be this one. So that means we need to open up the crawler tracks here, the interface, and create a crawler track wheel. And if it's a static wheel, then you need to drive it yourself around something. So that's the appropriate wheel for this one because we want the wheel to be driven around with this wheel. And the second thing is if it's an inner wheel or outer wheel, an inner wheel, if you pretend that you see a crawler track right like this in a triangle, then all of the, the wheels that would be inside the track would be inner wheels and all of the wheels that would be outside would be outer wheels. So I want to create an inner wheel and it should be static. So I create that one, bang, and it created on that side because the default direction would be this side for this this kind of thing here but and I just snap it in place like that and they are the same size now so I think this scale is okay there is it's very important that you have this distance here because I want to take this template later on which will make the make out the track parts and make it wider so it needs that space otherwise it will uh, rule against physics now this one is also going to be a child of that one to be driven around now the next thing I want to exemplify here is an outer wheel and the outer wheel, we don't have any more things that can drive wheels here. So now we actually need it to be non-static because it must be turned around when we have the, the this one driven around. So all of that will be taken care of right now. And this wheel is green. And we just move it, say, to here. Like that, say. Now this means that this wheel will have the crawler tracks because it's an outer wheel it forces the track to be created like this Zzz, like that then it's an outer wheel right so right now it will be created like that we can scale it down a little bit mm, like so and then make it a little wider like that okay so now the track will be created like this and up I like that and it will rotate automatically but it doesn't follow anything right now so we have to make it a child of this crawler so it follows everything else like that and then the next thing I will create here is a support wheel. Now the difference between an ordinary and a support wheel is the simple fact. I don't want it to rotate either with it, so I just make it a static wheel. And it's it, the inner and outer wheel doesn't matter here for this simple reason. Look at this. I create the support wheel, and what what is being being said here is that. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with the creation. I can create it. I can make it 
cre be created out here it won't change the 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 um, how the crawler track looks like at all so if I place it here you will see that the crawler track will still be created exactly like this this one doesn't have anything to do with it it will just support the track if it if the gravity pushes it down too much so then you can have these support wheels here to to not make the the track sag too much okay by saying that we are to the last step here and we need to create a step and now so what I want to do is to create teapots around here that's fun so I create a teapot like that and uh, and then I snap that teapot to this template step here. If I could hit it like that. Okay, my clipping planes are a bit weird right now. Anyway, so I want to change that to red also so that we see it really, really good like that. And the next thing I do here for the system to know that uh, I want to make this, let's just squeeze it just a little bit so it's not too large. Now the next thing I want to do is to make this template step just a little bit wider so that it mimics this one just a little bit at least but it's extremely important here that this width is not bigger than the 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 distance from this edge here to the ground and i know that the crawler crawler actually has the ground right here around this track so it must not be wider than this otherwise it will shake and tremble and glitch and do all sorts of weird stuff because it penetrates the ground which is a a a thing that physics will not allow so that is the only reason it will shake remember that so just to be safe here I'll have to make it just a little smaller like that and now I make this one a child of this one like that that means that this one will now be created around here all the way and we go down to the creation now you see a lot of physics parameters here that's for you to play around with I have not time to show you that I'm sorry so instead I will just create the track here Mm, the first thing I need to do here is to create the number of steps because we have width, uh, changed the width on this one and it takes 54 of these steps to be created around this track here. That sounds reasonable and I create the track like that. Alright, so now we have the nice track going around here. The next thing we need to do is to take this gravity direction mesh and tell the simulator what the ground is like that. So we make it a child of the ground as usual and that's it and the next step we need to do here this is a trick that you need to understand so if I just create if I just hit record now this will explode and the reason for this is the following I will unmark the key here now this will not be simulated only the crawler track crawler extender will be so I hit record here and this is what happens so it it's too fast it just snaps down so we need to create the track in this equilibrium state here and look at this ah oh, we didn't make this one a child i see let's do that first like that so we make it ease down and now we create the track crawl the track like that and we remove the track and create it like that and now we can hit record ah, okay we need to check this one also and drive the whole track as you see there it eases down and look at this track that we have created isn't this the most funny tool you've ever seen one of the most funny at least now look at this i mean you can do so many cool things with this and guess what we hit stop and bang we have the the teapots there instead now we unhide the no not those we want those back and we want to hide the low polys like that now the keyframes are set from this point here and now let's have a look at that the last thing we do and then i say thank you very much oh, 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 oh look at this oh my god this is so cool like that and i say thank you very much bye bye